Good morning and welcome to Coffee with Pastor. It is, let's see, September the 15th of 2024. Good morning to you. It is indeed the Lord's Day. And what a glorious, glorious time for us to get together. I have a nice hot cup of coffee and I intend to enjoy that in just a few moments. And I have my copy of the Word of God open to the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms and chapter 86, Psalm 86, is what we will be reading in just a few moments. Open up your copy of the Word of God. As we get started, it is Sunday, so therefore I get into my local church spiel. And let it be known, I am a firm, firm believer in the local church. And having said that, that means I do believe And I believe the scriptures teach that if you are physically able, that you ought to be in the local church. You need to be in your local church. You need to be active, involved, edifying the saints, encouraging the saints, contributing to the ministry of your local church. And so please do not let this Sunday go by without you being in your local church. Here's our list of pastors that we pray for each and every week. Again, Douglas Stockwell, that's myself, putting him right there at the top of the list. And then we have Pastor Tony Barber, Pastor Dave Boylet, Pastor Rich Collins, Pastor Ryan Emmons, Pastor Ken Ford, Pastor David Grinnell, Pastor Jeff Wilt, Pastor Paul Manweiler, Pastor Jim McKinnis, Pastor Glenn McMorris, Pastor Steve Milo, Pastor Andrew Smith, Pastor Zach Stamp, Pastor Doug Strader, Pastor Brian Teed, Pastor Chris Wass, Pastor Tim Whalen. And please, not only on Sunday mornings, but make it a point to pray for these men, especially if one of them happens to be your pastor. You need to lift him before the throne of grace, not just weekly, but daily. Let's bow together for prayer. Glorious Heavenly Father, good morning. And thank you for this beautiful Lord's Day. Thank you for the glorious privilege we have to gather together with your people in your house. Father, as we stand before your throne, we do pray for these men. They have prepared themselves. They are, as much as is possible, ready to stand behind the pulpit to proclaim your word in all of its fullness and all of its power. Father, we pray that you would bless the state. We pray that you would give them clarity of thought, of expression. And Father, draw them ever closer to yourself. Anoint them this morning as they present your word. Lord, you already know who is going to be listening to each one of these men. And so, Father, we pray for the hearers of your word. We pray that your word would show itself to be quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Father, we pray that you would speak to your people through your word, convicting, encouraging, challenging. And Father, please glorify yourself in the midst of your people. And Father, as we get right with you, as we submit ourselves to you, to your word, Father, may we take that word out into the world and proclaim it to those who need to hear it. And Father, may we see results. Bless the works of your people. Bless your church. 
And Father, again, we thank you for this opportunity to get our day started, opening up your word, reading it together, and being encouraged. Father, again, we thank you and praise you for who you are, for what you've done for us, for what you continue to do for us, and yes, what you will do for us. Thank you, Father, for this opportunity. Thank you for each one that joins us, whenever it is that they join us. And Father, again, bless your word as you have promised. We ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. As I mentioned before, we are in Psalm 86. Bow down thine ear, O Lord. Hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. O thou my God, save thy servant that trusteth in thee. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto thy, my prayer, and attend to the voice of thy, my supplication. In the day of my trouble I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. Among the gods there is none like unto thee, O Lord, neither are there any works like unto thy works. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great, and doest wondrous things. Thou art God alone. Teach me thy way, O Lord. I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. I will praise thee, O Lord my God, with all my heart and I will glorify thy name forevermore. For great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. O God, the, pride, the proud are risen against me, and the assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul, and have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. O oh, turn unto me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thine handmaid. Show me a token for good, that they which hate me may see it, and be ashamed, because thou, Lord, hast holpen me, and comforted me. And may God add his blessing to the reading of his word. Verse 15. But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. What a God we serve. What a glorious, glorious God we serve. Beloved, I hope that today, again, you strive to be faithful, and part of that is being in God's house today. That's where you belong. That's where God would have you today, in your local church, worshiping God with his people in his house and contributing to the ministry in whatever and however you may contribute. Beloved, we call you each and every day to faithfulness. Faithfulness to this great, great God that we serve. Beloved, please, today, be faithful. 
Do not allow yourself to become anyone else's excuse for turning away from the glorious, glorious God that you and I serve. Remember, we love you. God loves you. And until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.